So this is our basic uh, setup for an endovenous closure case, whether it's laser or radio frequency. We have a single pack that we've developed um, that has all the necessary uh, uh, items, but uh, no uh, fat. Uh, you know, basic uh, four by fours, uh, micro puncture wires. We have actually two kits on the table just to show you the difference. The kit we use for the for the radio frequency closure, we actually open a separate uh, seven French micro introducer kit. So there's a a 21 gauge uh, needle. We have the seven French introducer sheet for the radio frequency catheter. And we have our micro wire, which is a floppy tip with a nice stiff mandrel on the end. So that's the only thing for radio frequency case that you need to open. Similarly, with the, with the, laser, with the laser cases, we open the five French micro puncture kit. And uh, again, the same sort of contents with the exception of the sheath. We have the, the introduction introducer needle, the flexible uh, guide wire, 018. And then we have the mi five French micropuncture introducer, which is in two parts, basically. The inner stiff uh, introduction part, and then the sheath that remains in. And if you look at the two of these uh, in comparison, you'll see the difference in, 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 in size. This is a seven French, this is a five French. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like much, at least uh, when you talk about it, but I think for smaller veins, the uh, Giacomini or inner saphenous, the, the small saphenous, uh, smaller branches. Um, this is uh, obviously much easier to get in to a two to three millimeter vessel than the seven French catheter. So th there's your difference between the two types of introducers that we use. What else do we have on here? We have the 1% xylocaine that we've drawn up off the table with our we had a 19 gauge needle and then a uh, in the standard uh, 27 gauge. The small 3cc syringe to help flush the catheter out and cap the sheath after it's placed to control uh, any uh, oozing. A little bitty uh, marking pen to mark the skin uh, where you uh, are going to put the lidocaine so you can keep track of that. A simple 11 blade knife to make your dermatotomy if needed. A couple of basic hemostats. So usually use the hold to, to keep control of things like the the uh, ultrasound probe with its sterile cover and the uh, tumescent tubing, which we'll get to. We don't need a big tray. We just have a little the stuff to keep uh, help clean up at the end of the case. Then over here, we have a selection of Band-Aids on the tray 